Today we were demonstrating how simulation is affecting healthcare education in Cape Fear Community College. Between the downtown campus and the north campus, the EMS program and the anatomy and physiology program, the college is starting to integrate sim patient simulation into the education of all allied health fields. I did a pilot program of teaching actually six classes of anatomy and physiology for about 163 students that actually go through and do using the textbook actually learn how to do these basic skills that they're going to need for whatever allied health program they're going to go into. The feedback from the students in the EMS program has been amazing. Uh, once they get used to actually putting their hands on to, to the simulator, not worrying about breaking something that has such a cost associated with it, they love the access that it gives them, the, the realism that it brings to their training. It allows us to present a concept to them and then show them what a patient undergoing this concept would look like in real life. Stan, Stan, can you hear me? We're kind of using this as a building block so we can move on to a, a virtual hospital, be across the street. We'll have two floors of simulation labs and we'll actually be able to do a sharing. So for example, right now we have a, a simulator with EMS and EMS is starting to try and learn how to use it. The nursing program has a simulator over there, and they're in the process of trying to figure out how to use it. And we're actually the first program that's actually utilizing this on a daily basis with our students. Currently, the EMS program has over 200 students enrolled in initial training courses that are utilizing the simulators. The anatomy and physiology program has near 160 students. When you look at the numbers of the students in all of the allied health programs, the anatomy and physiology, the EMS program, you're looking at a good six to seven, eight hundred students per year that would greatly benefit from access to the simulation technology. You can get a little more hands-on yeah. experience. Okay, so this is the type of thing you wouldn't be able to do before. No. These simulators kind of range, and when I first did some simulation, they were about $300,000 a piece, and they dropped about $150,000 a piece. And Medi actually came out with this one called the Medi Man. It was really called the pre hospital. It was really to allow us to teach these all these different type of parameters at the different levels, whether it's nursing, whether it's basic anatomy and physiology or EMT paramedic. And this actual machine actually is, is a price just under thirty thousand dollars. What you're looking at is a cost benefit ratio. And thankfully Cape Fear has made the decision to invest in the the most recent technology for our simulators because they provide the most benefit to our students. And the simulation is just changing the way we're able to teach teach our students. Stan. Honey? Oh, Yes, yes. Thank you for coming. I'm Kelly. I'm his um, home health nurse. Hi, Kelly. What's going on?